lot of people with a stocks and shares ISA think the name implies that you can only hold stocks and shares in the account. You can actually hold a lot more, including funds. At AJ Bell Doddle, we call it an investment ISA. That's an easier way of describing what you can do with it. Now you can choose to put your money in shares or in funds or do a mix and match. The decision is entirely up to you. Now stocks and shares are the same thing. You're buying a stake in a company. And you can choose for some really big names, including Coca-Cola, EasyJet, McDonald's and Apple. You make money if the shares are worth more when you sell them versus what you originally paid. Some companies even pay dividends every three to six months, which is a nice little cash reward they'll give you in return for investing in them. You don't have to pay any tax on the gains you make on investments or the income you receive from dividends on shares or funds if they're held in an ISA. A fund is slightly different to a share. It's a bit like buying a multi-pack of crisps. You buy one thing, but inside there's lots of different packets and flavours. But instead of crisps, the funds will have stakes in various companies or other things like bonds. For example, you might buy a global share fund. Now this means that you're investing in a fund which holds stakes in companies listed on stock markets around the world. Alternatively, something like a technology fund would only invest in tech companies, or a healthcare fund would only invest in drug companies or firms which provide goods and services to things like doctor surgeries, hospitals and medical laboratories. Now for more information on the underlying assets that each fund holds, Within the app, you can check out the fact sheet, which you'll find in the Funds Overview tab. Now, whether you choose shares or funds or a mixture of them will depend on how much risk that you're willing to take. So investing in an individual company can be higher risk than a fund because you're completely exposed if something goes wrong. With a fund, your risks are spread across the multiple holdings in the fund portfolio. And so if one of the holdings goes through a bad patch, You've got the other holdings to act as a cushion, hopefully minimise the pain for you. Just imagine that you're watching the Tour de France, and let's say you can either invest in one cyclist or a team of them. Now, if you go for a single cyclist, they could do brilliantly, or in a worst case scenario, they could actually crash before the end of the race. Now, that's taking on a lot of risk. If you invest in a cycling team, they aren't all going to move at the same pace but you would hope enough of them do well so you don't have to rely on choosing the absolute best cyclist. That's spreading your risks around. So in this example, the lone cyclist is the share and the team of cyclists is the fund. Lots of people like funds because they might get a smoother ride, even if it means they might get slightly lower returns versus an individual share. But others are happy to take on the extra risk and go for individual companies in the hope of getting a better performance over the longer term. Now, no one can say with certainty that one thing is going to do better than another. So you still need to spend a little bit of time to understand what you're investing in. If you're unsure about anything, you can always head to the Doddle Learn tab. And if you still have any more questions, you can chat to Team Doddle anytime in the app. Now, Doddle doesn't give investment recommendations or advice, so always read the important information and do your own research when choosing your investments. And remember that investing carries risks. Whatever you choose, it's possible to lose money as well as make it. Thanks for watching.